in our previous session we have updated the quantity and that updated quantity we have updated inside the database as well now in this if you closely notice here this is my project and this is my demo project in this price you can see i am having 25000 here also i am having the price dollar symbol is missing i am just going to give that dollar symbol here i will come this is my price i am just going to write dollar symbol save i will come now if i refresh i am having dollar symbol but here let me just increase the size if you see here for every price after thousand separator i am having this comma but in our project you can see number is not separated by comma i will refresh this i will come to cart you can see numbers are not separated by comma so for that we have one function which is provided by php i will come on top inside this container i will just write here simple php only to explain this later on we are going to remove i will just create one variable number number i will just write here thousand i will just display this number number save this i will come to my project i will refresh this one now you can see number thousand is displayed now what i want i want one comma in between so for that i'm just going to create one variable format inside this i'm just going to give here number format now inside this i'm just going to pass my number variable i will write here echo and i just want to display this formatted one format variable save this i will come i will refresh this one now you can see after one i am having this comma so using this number format we can just put the comma inside the numbers there are multiple parameters inside this function as of now we do not need that one i'll just hover you can see floating numbers integers this all as of now we do not need simply we are just passing the number and it will be separated by comma using thousand separator if i just add two more zeros save this i will refresh this one now you can see again i am having this thousand separator i will be having this comma now here i can pass this parameters here i will write here to save this i will refresh this one now two decimal numbers will be added so using this number format function we can add commas in our numbers so in next session using that number format function we are going to calculate our total price so based on this quantity we are just going to calculate the total price and we are going to display the number